So it's been a while since we saw a new 360 camera and now there's one but it's not coming from the usual players. This one is from a, coming from a camera company that I've actually never heard of before. Now the first time I saw this camera I gotta admit that I just dismissed it outright. It looked like uh, one of those generic cameras and wouldn't perform and would, re would have just poor image quality. But um, it so happened that the camera company contacted me and after a little bit of skepticism, I asked some questions and asked for samples. And when I saw the samples, I got interested because they were much better than I expected. So let's talk about this camera. So this is a typical 360 camera. This is a, the Theta Z1. And you can see that it has two lenses. Now the Trisio uses a different design. Uh, instead of having two lenses, it has only one lens. And instead, the camera has a motorized attachment and then it rotates on the tripod. This kind of design has several advantages and disadvantages. Now, on the ter in terms of disadvantages, uh, you definitely cannot take a spherical photo with just one shot. Uh, instead, it has to take multiple shots. So that's one disadvantage. On the other hand, it can have advantages. So first of all, instead of having the cost of the camera split between two lenses and two sensors, you could have one higher quality lens and higher quality sensor. You could potentially have better image quality. Now the second possible advantage is parallax. First of all, what is parallax? The Guardian became the very evil he had wished to destroy. He became parallax. So parallax is what you get when you have two different lenses aimed at the same subject. So here with the 360 camera, you have one lens at, in one position, the other lens from another position. So when you take a photo, each lens sees a slightly different perspective. Now, when you're really far away, then there's no issue because for all intents and purposes, the two lenses see almost exactly the same thing, no problem. But when it's really close like that, then there is a significant difference between the left lens and the right lens and you have parallax stitching errors. Now, if you had only one lens, then theoretically you could rotate the camera around the pupil of that lens and then you would have little or no parallax stitching errors. So that's the theoretical advantage of having just one lens. But the question is, how good is the stitching of the Trisio? Well, let's find out. Now, before we do that, let's take a look at its specifications. Aperture is f2.3. That's reasonably wide, not super wide, but it's okay. The sensor size is 1 over 2.3 inch and it's supposedly a Sony sensor. Uh, in terms of the resolution, the stitched resolution is 8,000 by 4,000. I'm curious to know how many shots it takes to get that resolution and how much is the resolution per shot. That one, I don't know yet, but I'm gonna find out. Next, in terms of the exposure, it's auto only according to the specs, but it does take HDR photos, like real multi-shot HDR that will be merged in the stitched photo. Speaking of the stitched photo, the output is JPEG. There's no mention of raw capability. Um, I'll be, I'd be curious to know if that's something they can add and that's something I'm gonna suggest to them. In terms of connections, the camera has a Wi-Fi connection and it also has a USB Type-C port. Uh, in the bottom, you have a quarter 20 tripod hole, but uh, what's cool is that it also has a quick release mount. So you can attach it and remove it from a tripod easily. The storage is internal, uh, eight gigs, in which according to them is enough for up to 1,200 photos. Now in terms of the battery, it's internal only. There's no mention for a removable battery. It's about 2,500 mAh, thereabouts, and which is good enough for 200 minutes of operation, according to them. The weight is only 150 grams and it's roughly the size of a smartphone. So let's talk about how you shoot with the Trizio. The camera has only two buttons. There's a power button and a shutter. 
Now you press the shutter and it's gonna start taking photos. Another possibility is to use the app. So it does have an app and you can use that to control the camera remotely. The app is also what you use to download the photos and stitch them. They don't mention a uh, desktop app and it's something that I've suggested to them. Now let's talk about the part we're really interested in, image quality. So they sent me several sample photos uh, and the detail was quite good. I would say it's legitimately 8K 360. And in terms of dynamic range, it's pretty good. Uh, you could see that there really is HDR being used because it's able to get some details from the windows without blowing them out. But the sky, on the other hand, looks like it's blown out. So uh, I'm hoping that they can increase the number of shots uh, to improve the dynamic range of the 360 photos. Now, the really interesting part to me was the stitching. Because if you look at the photos, they seem to have almost flawless stitching. Like look at these tiles, for example. You could see these grid lines. They're very smooth and undisturbed. Whereas with, if you had shot, let's say, with an Insta 361R, then you would see some kind of um, stitching error along the stitch line. So to be honest, I was a little surprised by this, but it's quite impressive and makes me think this camera has a lot of potential. So Trizio's manufacturer said they were going to send a review copy to me, which I'm going to be testing and I'm going to be taking sample shots. And more importantly, I'm going to be comparing them against some of the more well-known 360 cameras like the Theta Z1, Insta 361X2, and so on and so forth. Now, if there are other 360 cameras that you want me to compare them to, let me know in the comments. Now, meanwhile, I'm working on a review for another virtual tour camera that you've probably never heard of. What's special about this camera is that it will enable you to create virtual tours with no monthly fees. If you're interested, don't miss it. Hit subscribe and I'll see you in 360.